Hello guys, this is Veronica and today I'm going to show you how to do this cake topper for Christmas time. Let's get started! Okay, the first things to do is create the moon. I'm using as a base a polystyrene plastic high density and a cutter or a knife. Um, uh, you can substitute uh, the, the polystyrene with a cardboard if you want to uh, and then you're gonna mix uh, glue, PVA glue, uh, one part with one part of water and you're gonna cover the top and the sides. Okay, now um, I need the cold porcelain clay and this occasion I use in Infinity Mamadora. Uh, this so cold porcelain is really uh, flexible, um, really light and weight and um, the texture is um, really soft uh, like a cotton and it's really really white. Now using a rolling pin we are going to stretch the, the clay about 2 mm thick. Don't forget to put a baby powder on the base so it doesn't stick. After apply your polystyrene upside down so the part with the glue is going to stick to the porcelain clay. You're gonna cut it with a um, plastic uh, knife if you got, or any any other uh, any other tools that you may want to use. Um, as a porcelain cleaner, it's really easy to use. And then um, we're gonna repeat the process uh, for the back of the moon. Try to smooth it out. And then you're going to make a hole with a wooden stick. Then is uh, the one is gonna attach to the cake. And then you're gonna start making trotters with uh, a tool, um, a ball tool, or anything then you may can use similar. Uh, you may have something in the kitchen that you can help you with. As you can see, I got a picture on my left which is the one I use as a base to create a mind topper and um, now I will add a color, black color to the porcelain clay I use some Mamadora pigment and, um, and I'll start shaping um, to create this black shape where a shack is sitting on I decided to do it in grey right now but I may modify the color after a while just, uh, just to have a base. Now I noticed that the wooden stick is a little bit short, um, so I will replace it with a long one. Um, in this case, uh, these barbecue sticks are uh, having this thick part, so I cut it off. I'm attaching the wooden stick with PVA glue and um, then checking again my shape and when I got the right one I will leave it on the side uh, to dry out uh, a little bit before I glue this on top of the moon. Now I started to do uh, the main character which is Jack. Uh, I used him in this uh, case uh, Mamadora traditional. Uh, the package is coming in 250 grams and it's really white. Uh, what I like from this um, clay, um, porcelain clay, is um, um, a part of them is really really white. The density is different than the infinity and it's more smooth and when they dry it's shiny. Um, so I, I like to, to use this for, um, in this case for this character, it's, it's perfect. And so I'm gonna start making all of the white bits from the character um, and shape it as you can see using different tools um, and I'm using the pictures as a guide 
so it's much easy to replicate um, the, the, the gate topper. So you can see I uh, using uh, different tools uh, from scissors to um, silicone, um, silicone um, brush and um, plastic tools to create this um, shape um, the hands, um, the neck and, um, and the head yeah. um, it's really um, yeah it's really easy to do I just need to try to find the right tools to to create um, the, the shape that you want. to add uh, some black pigment um, and I'm going to black pigment, pigment to the uh, porcelain clay and we're going to start doing the body of Jack um, so it's really really follow uh, the basic shape first um, don't worry too much if you have some um, you know missing spaces in between you know the body and the arm maybe they are not um, looked like they are one piece um, in the beginning but then we're gonna add more and more uh, to complete this shape so just uh, let, let's start it with, uh, with a basic one We continue this can take um, it's a long process it can take longer to be fair uh, but it's so much fun in the same time um, hopefully you know you enjoy uh, watching and uh, just making the right shape using the picture um, to guide me and now I zoom a little bit more so you can start seeing more the details um, so it's just literally shaping uh, and try to create a similar um, shape and um, need to be perfect but you know it, they need to look like uh, shack right um, and in between you let them you know the part dry like I did um, with with shack topper uh, you can start uh, gluing uh, the, the shape uh, where Shaq is gonna be sitting on top um, so you can start playing with uh, the parts then you shaped um, to see how they look like um, on the moon as you can see the moon is, is smaller compared with the one in the picture as um, uh, you won't be able to do a big moon I wouldn't be able to do a big moon if I wanted to because the cake is gonna be six inch um, and they will be too big for what we're looking for so uh, we have to adapt um, the, the, the cake topper um, to the size of the cake then you're gonna you're gonna go for it um, but anyway it will look good at the end as you see um, it's already look um, cute um, it just start playing a little bit with that and start uh, gluing the parts um, on, on the moon uh, so you can start adding more bits so this is just the base as, as I said we're gonna continue adding more black bits uh, to to the topper to the, the, the main character um, just um, now gluing uh, the bases you know the legs the, the body and the arms um, so we can start with the details
keep going and adding all of the little bits part of the booty arms uh, we're gonna leave just the head uh, at the end and you will see why um, but at the moment you know the, the, the head is in the, in the position it just not being looped yet uh, it just uh, to guide me with the arms so I can create a similar posture as the picture has and just I'd like to mention that I always use um, pictures uh, when I create um, my characters um, from the movies and um, that helped me a lot or the same when I create a, a toppers from uh, you know a child I use always the pictures uh, but it's always a guide I will not um, create exactly so I will not replicate exactly the same I will use um, some of the characters or some of the, the features from that um, and I will make my own basically now then we have the, the base uh, ready I will start adding more details I put the camera a little bit closer so you can see probably uh, with the more details and I put the pictures to my um, left side I also have uh, my phone with the pictures on the screen so I can uh, zoom and see with a more um, yeah with more details uh, the picture themselves and help me with uh, with the fingers part because uh, they are really really small tiny things so I try to replicate the shape as much as possible now we're going into the black bit details as you can see it's missing uh, parts missing black part in the arm and so we're gonna start adding um, black uh, to cover up all of these missing bits uh, on the jack character and uh, and I like to use different tools on this um, occasion I using um, a silicone brush which is uh, really helpful and a water to smooth it out so they you know integrate um, and it doesn't look um, like it's two parts, it's just, it just will look like uh, one arm only. Keep adding on um, and using the, um, my silicone brush and, um, and water brush as well. Um, these two they are really helpful um, when you need to integrate integrate um, the whole porcelain. Um, um, just uh, to mention that uh, this um, traditional cold porcelain dry um, dry out very quick, and um, even when it's not completely dry, it allow me to add um, a little bit on top, and it doesn't lose the shape. And um, the other thing is, uh, you see then sometimes it it kind of you know I'm mistaken with the shape, but I can correct that really really quick with the brush and using tools and um, start you know adding more bits uh, to try to make the the topper um, look like I wanted to.
finish with a jab counter so adding a little bit details and um, and that's it we almost had this uh, ready to continue with uh, the, the other part of my topper I back to use uh, the traditional full fizzling and I will create um, the dog um, I, it looks so cute in the picture and I thought um, yeah it would be uh, amazing to to add it to my cake topper uh, so I'm shaping um, and try to replicate uh, or recreate um, the, the face shape and um, yeah and, and the body um, and again we will use um, the, the, the shape the base shape first and then we're gonna start adding on top more plain Again, we use the zebras, uh, the plastic tools, and anything else uh, that you will see in the video, um, and shaping with the hands to try to recreate the, the base bit of this um, dog. Um, that dog actually <laughs> is dead, um, which is so cute, right? Um, so yeah so we just um basis on that we start um using the tools to to shape it up shape and with the tool we're gonna make some details and you're gonna start smoothing out and cut the excess with a, with a scissors which is um, much easier in this um, occasion little pieces of uh, cold porcelain on top of the porcelain plane then you already shape it and uh, using just water and, and the tool to smooth it out it could be integrated really really quick and it's um, a really straightforward uh, process it's just longer because it's a lot of details but it's really uh, straightforward and easy to do with these products keep shaping and adding beads till you know you have um, your topper um, or the dog topper um, and the shaping you want that you can leave it as a really base one or you can add more details as I do in myself Now 
shape in the um, um, dog ears. I think this is the more complicated part in terms of making this little creature or topper. Um, is um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit um, complicated, um, but um, yeah, but if, you, if you follow the yeah, the process that I'm doing in the video it would be easy for you. You just need to try to figure out what part is going, um, you know, what part is going where, what part is bent for or not. Uh, what part do you want to be more trivy, what part you want to be more flat on the on the on the moon face um, and yeah just uh, try to play with that till you find the right shape uh, the picture helps um, really a lot with this so we just um, follow up the, the picture shape Now I'm using PVA glue to stick the ear to the face um, and the reason is because I don't want to make any changes on the shape I just want to make sure that they glue I don't want to use a water uh, as I'm not gonna smooth it out as, as I did with other part of uh, the toppers making the nose I haven't actually colored my my clay as I had already prepared but I use um, infinity mama Dora uh, to make the noise and is um, I like the texture better and for that uh, detail so that is what I used now we start with the bar then we start adding details and I use an acrylic paint and a little thinner uh, brush um, and this is the reason why I didn't attach yet uh, the head will be um, much more difficult to paint um, the face if it's being glued to the moon so it's better to do it um, this way and uh, it definitely help you a lot am I doing the same with the dog? just painting the eye on it and um, we're gonna start adding details thing I would like to talk in this part which is obviously all about uh, the details is uh, to um, point um, the, the fact that the poor, the poor porcelain clay is not completely dry and you can see um, I can add uh, a lot of details and it doesn't change the shape of, of uh, of my um, dog or um, or make any issue when you apply um, acrylic paint and it's definitely um, amazing materials to use when you create your toppers and um, right now I can see unfortunately I just move um, the, the, the face of the dog a little bit down I uh, apologize for that, you may not see in the, the, the details, but it's literally follow up, um, you know, the, the, the face shape and the ear shape. And if you actually by accident, as, as you, you have seen, um, it's just mistake with the black, it just use the, the water brush to wipe off and that's it and you paint it again. It's not a big issue. Between 
the dog paint it dry out I'm gonna start uh, painting the details of a jug and I'm using black over uh, white details and then we're gonna use white over the black um, body to make the details forget then we have a little hands just right there just add a, a little bit details so it's actually um, yeah it looks much better now well uh, sorry again I don't know if you can see uh, all of the details so I just literally paint in the white bit of the chest right now to turn my topper upside down all the time turn you know one way and another way and look and try to correct and add details as um, it may not uh, look like um, you need to do that but uh, um, at the end of the final products the details the difference is, is um, yeah it's, it's ginormous actually the difference between um, making an extra effort so hopefully you do you make an extra effort and you check all of the all of the details and the different um, directions and position of the top and don't forget if you mistake with uh, details and when you're painting with acrylic you can wipe it off uh, you can use the brush the water brush or you can use a wiping um, baby wipe actually that's what I use now and you can start it again so it's really easy um, again you know really straightforward really easy to do um, it would not change the shape of your porcelain claim topper uh, or shape and um, you will be able to to add it again and you just you know um, literally uh, try as many times as you need till you got the result that you want. is uh, dry um, I will start um, adding more details um, before it was a little bit difficult to to continue with the details um, I still, 
this little dog is really small shape and um, sometimes you know you just um, you know touch in the black and you just make a mess it's just better to leave it and you know jump from one thing to another uh, to allow the, the paint to dry enough now I use in um, a, a strong glue actually super glue to attach the dog uh, I could use a PBA to be fair uh, but I decided um, the, the pieces they were a little bit um, you know they are really um, thinner and they dry quicker than bigger pieces as well so it was too dry so I decided then it was better to use this glue to make sure it attached correctly and well decided to paint the gray shape uh, in black so using the same acrylic and my water brush to, to paint all the shape in black uh, which uh, definitely look much better than a gray so but you know you could leave it uh, any color that you want just um, check um, in the beginning I wasn't really sure about the black color because I thought it may not um, show in um, well the you know the jack character but um, then I thought then definitely it would be okay if I actually use in the acrylic and um, the the clay you know the porcelain clay in the traditional is quite shiny so it definitely you can see the legs still so I, I liked it I liked it in that and now I'm starting to add the white details and um, again if I feel like I don't like um, the paint I will just wipe it off and start it again acrylic it goes uh, really well with uh, poor porcelain as well so it's just really easy uh, to fix and you can still add a black on top it's just literally a um, really smooth process I enjoy painting a lot um, it's a long process um, but it's definitely so much fun seen a, a wheel uh, tool um, this one then they have four points uh, is really helpful um, for these kind of details uh, or to make dots um, absolutely love uh, this tool and then you can do a thinner part with a brush with a really in the brush um, which is something that is really helpful as well
out a jack topper so add in the white acrylic paint on top to make details um, this is something then yeah make the, the topper stand up even more I loved it as you can see maybe a little bit on the left the picture um, the, the pictures themselves doesn't have these white details but I did uh, want to add something different and I make my topper um, my own so I just add in the details and definitely look much better than the picture that's just what I thought start using dusting powder and this is something that's going really really well with uh, cold frost lane but dusting powder can be um, used as making details as I do in right now or could be used to incorporate to the clay uh, before you make the shape it's up to you depending you know what you need uh, it's many in many ways and you can use the dusting powder you can use the dusting powder um, as, um, as we use the acrylic so you can literally mix with water or uh, with um, different products uh, to a uh, paint um, a topper or um, anything that you make with a cold porcelain and dusting powder can be used for uh, paint a different products as well not just porcelain plain if you want more information you just go to our website you will see all of the information and the details about this product so i just keep adding more to dimension to my topper um, this is crucial um, in terms of uh, finer product um, something that I love to do so I try to to see how I create um, more three dimension um, to the topper and that's why I'm adding more and then I keep adding uh, more details to the moon for example using in this in this uh, occasion I using a yellow one I decided then it would go so well with my moon and um, it's quite a bright color and I wasn't sure if it would look um, uh, okay or not but I'm so glad that I chose that color because it actually make my topper stand up even more and a cover some um, some beads as well uh, from the shape where um, Jack is sitting and that make the topper um, much much better. Uh, the powder will be absorbed by the clay uh, when it completely dry and it will not come off um, anymore. back to my wheel tool and added more details and so said this one is gonna be a comic scape so I added more and more details to make uh, the topper look um, as I wanted to touching adding shadows and lights and if you mistake you can wipe it off before the dry and 
and start it again is really, really easy. To make my cake topper as the Christmas spirit, I decided to add uh, to Jack um, a Christmas hat. So I'm using a pigment Mamadora in this case. I know using a red color, which is the traditional for Christmas. I'm using salmon um, as they match more with my character and it still looks like kind of red, isn't it? Um, so just making a shape using Infinity Mamadora as it's lighter, it looks more like a cotton one kind of thing, so it's not that shiny like um, like um, traditional one and it's just making the shape and making sure then the back feet, so the one is going to be attached to the moon, is flat. You can always cut with the scissors and the part that you don't like and then start shaping again uh, using your hands. You can use tools as well to make some details. And when you have the shape that you want, you're going to glue it with a PVA glue. part to the hat and I use a, a brush and it's a clean brush actually and uh, to yeah to make a little bit of a patterns in that white part make sure you have your hands completely uh, clean uh, so the, the white will be absorbed any color than you have in your fingers so and then you just attach with water and using your water brush or anything um, and then your tool to correct any imperfection and then you're gonna make a bow and you're gonna do the end of, of the hat bit to attach the bow to the hat I use a metal wire is really small really thin and uh, you can use um, different different things it just need to be something that they attach to both sides to match the head to the rest of the body and the topper in, in general I will add uh, these details um, in black and I'll make uh, you know the hat stand up finish just need to add a little bit of white on the hat and that's it we're almost there i hope you enjoy my tutorial today and thank you for watching